Hey guys, if you'd like to join the GOAT list and help support the channel, the link down below in the description. You can join for only a dollar a month. You help support the channel and you get featured in all my videos. Thank you guys. Hey guys, I'm gonna give me back here for another video guys. Today I'm gonna go ahead and predict the team of the week predictions for week 13. So guys, the Masters I believe will be Rob Gronkowski and Eric Weddle. Eric Weddle had one touchdown on a pick six. He also had one sack and he had one forced fumble. I do believe that he will go ahead and receive this week's team of the week master card. Now Gronkowski on the other hand had 147 yards on nine receptions. Now a couple of things that we know about the master that we have to take into consideration when we go ahead and put deck twos is going to be. One thing for the last 13 weeks at least, it cannot be a team that lost. So therefore we you know can knock off Tyreek Hill. We can knock off um as Jermaine Curse did end up winning, but it also has to be a card that has a 90 or I believe it's like an 88 plus overall card. So the options there become possibility that we get a um what's his name Marshawn Lynch we have an 88 at the moment so we could go ahead and get another Marshawn Lynch maybe a 93 overall, overall Marshawn that would be kind of crazy um Alex Smith did go ahead and take an L so he can't get a card um obviously if the other than the master the teams can lose outside the master so, for example, I do think that Rob Gronkowski is going to get the Master. Right now, he has a 92 overall card. Um, so, he would get a 93 overall card as the Master. Um, other than that, I think the 91 will be Tyreek Hill. Mainly could he had 185 yards and two touchdowns. Very, very nice day for my man there. Um, outside of that, we could see Alvin Kamara getting a card. He didn't have anything too insane when it came to yardage. But he did have, I believe, three touchdowns in this game. We can actually look very fast. So, complete rushing leaders and looking at... Let's see if we can find him real fast. Alvin Kamara had 60 yards and two rushing touchdowns. And he also had some yards to the air. So, he definitely could maybe get a card. Uh, he might get the 89. Maybe someone else gets the 89. So, with that in mind, Josh Gordon could even... He could get a card. He did have 85 yards receiving, I believe. And... Definitely being his first week back, Guru is a, you know, Browns fan. Even Guru said on Twitter that the best card he would get is like an 83 or 85 because he has currently, the, I think he has a silver. So he had 85 yards receiving on four receptions. I wouldn't, you know, really think that he's going to get too crazy of a card, but nonetheless, he might. He definitely could. Uh, Clay Matthews had two and a half. Sacks, definitely nice day for him. Kenny Clark with two sacks, and obviously Frank Clark with two sacks against the Philadelphia Eagles, who are now eight and two. Um, nine and two. Wait, what's the record? I do not remember the record. I just know now that this will be the second loss. So, um, my bad. I probably completely butchered that on what the record was. I just know they have one loss at the moment, and this one will go ahead and cement their second loss. Now, I like to do these on Sundays and then upload them on Tuesday. Main reason I do this is because usually the Monday night game, a lot of people say that that does not impact Team of the Week. Even though it comes out on Tuesday, I've had a lot of people tell me that Monday night games, they don't even look at them for Team of the Week. Now, that might be 100% incorrect. I haven't done my factual research to see, you know, okay, is Monday actually impacted? But a lot of people tell me that. If I go ahead, tell me down below if they do. Uh, I'll look back and see. And if I do see, I will go ahead and start upload, uh, making these on Monday and uploading them on Tuesday. But as of right now, I do not think that they do that based on what people are telling me. Nonetheless, Jermaine Curse did have 157 yards. Very nice day for him. Mike Wallace had 116 yards. He definitely could get a card. Uh, no, no, no. Mike Wallace would not get a card. Because his card, his best card in the game right now is 87, and that means he would have to get the 89. I don't think he's going to get the 89. Robbie Anderson, 107 yards. Keenan Allen also had one heck of a day at 105 and one touchdown. Obviously, he can't get a card because he already got team of the week master last week, and he had a you know, 93 of all, so you can't get another card. Guys, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe channel if you're new, and make sure you comment down below and give me your predictions, guys. I always love to see, you know, who you predict is going to get the Team of the Week Master cards. Obviously, these are just my predictions on Eric Weddle 
and Rob Gronkowski. I personally don't see any other, you know, people getting it. Now, obviously, offensively, there's, it's up in the air for me. But defensively, I think it has to be Eric Weddle. One touchdown on a pick six, one forced fumble, and of course, one sack. That's a lot to do in one week. Not to get a master card when he already has a 91 overall card would be kind of strange to me. But again, I never put it past, you know, EA to put some, something else out there. And obviously, I might be completely overlooking someone who had an even better game. But defensively, it might be a little homework because I'm a Ravens fan. But I think the Ravens, I think we got Eric Weddle a card at a 93 overall. Peace out, guys.